is Tim here, and in 2020.3, Tableau have added the ability to see data quality warnings in Tableau Desktop. Now, one of the requirements to actually see and use this feature is that you have the data management add-on enabled on your Tableau server. And once that's enabled, you actually get the, the data quality warnings as part of that add-on. So there is a little bit of an additional cost to have this feature. Um, what you can see here is I've actually got uh, four data sets and one of them has a data quality warning. I actually added this back in 2020.2 and it has a simple warning on Superstore sales. And I've basically put a simple warning here to say it's not accurate, needs validation by DB admin. Uh, if you want to check out how to create these data quality warnings, check out one of my other videos. It'll be popping up here on the screen uh, just right now. Now, what I want to do is to be able to see this in Tableau Desktop when I connect. So I'm going to open up Tableau Desktop here, and I'm going to go ahead and connect to the exact same Tableau server. Now, I'm actually already logged in, so I didn't need to log in here during this demo. But you can see here that I get the data quality warning as it is in Tableau server. Now, if I click this little icon, I actually get the same warning as I got on Tableau Online slash Tableau Server. And so you can see that this feature is working here in desktop. I'm going to go ahead and actually connect to this data source. And the final thing here is that we should also see this warning over here in Tableau Desktop itself. It doesn't specify the warning there. I wish that tooltip that we saw on the screen before was actually brought here. That'd be a much, much nicer feature. Uh, but it does tell you to go to Tableau Server to understand what kind of warnings are being applied to this data source. Now, what I want to do is I want to just uh, go back on here to uh, this view. And I'm actually going to go ahead and try and change this data quality warning. So I'm going to click on this data set. OK, I'm going to hit these three dots. And if I go to quality warning, I can actually remove the warning. So let's say I'm going to say that this uh, this has been deprecated. Hit save. I think this actually enables a different icon. Uh, enables the same color icon. I actually want to do is change this. There is actually a slightly different iconology. I think under maintenance might be another one with a slightly different icon altogether. Uh, no, under maintenance uses uh, this one as well. So let me keep going here until I find one that's got a meaningfully different icon. Sensitive data. Okay, maybe maybe I'm imagining things. I, I, I could swear these icons were slightly different. Um, uh, maybe stale might be the last one. I guess warning and deprecated we've already tried. It's not sensitive, so um, let me disable like high quality, high high visibility data warning, sorry. And here we go. So, okay, this is a, um, I think what I was doing wrong there is I was actually trying to change the icon when it's actually this high visibility setting here. So you can see this data quality warning has changed. So now if I go back to Tableau Desktop and just do a little refresh uh, of the data source, you'll see that it doesn't, nothing changes. So what I need to do is actually close the desktop addition uh, uh, and uh, open it again, or I can reconnect to the same data source. If I go here to the Tableau server, you can see it now pulls the fresh information about the data sources. You can now see it's correct. Connect to that, and then once it's inside of desktop, uh, you should see that they now both update. Essentially, what's happening there is the metadata about the data source isn't coming through until I add it onto the view again. It's not just sort of quickly refreshing there. So if you close and open again, that should work. Or if you disconnect and reconnect again, that should work. And go ahead and close this duplicate now. And now you can see the data quality warning has changed and it's available here for us to see in desktop. That's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. Um, if you enjoyed the video, um, check out uh, other videos on this channel, especially about the 2020.3 release. Otherwise, if not, drop us a comment below and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.